Council of Islamic Ideology throws a wrench in Pakistani trans rights bill. On September 18th, Pakistan's Council of Islamic Ideology stated that a law introduced in 2018 for transgender people, which allows them to be recognized as their gender without needing any confirmation from medical board, is unsuitable by Islamic standards. The claim that the bill is unacceptable as per Islamic standards came from a Pakistani senator, Mushtaq Ahmed, from the explicitly anti-LGBT Jamaat-e-Islami, or J.I. party. The 2018 Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Bill was created to protect transgender people from discrimination. According to Mushtaq, permitting people to change their gender marker would become, quote, a danger to the family and inheritance systems as the assets are divided based on gender by the Islamic system of inheritance. This would result in 220 million people being able to decide, quote, whatever they want. Nasreen Jalil, a member of the Senate of Pakistan and chair of the Senate Functional Committee on Human Rights, said, quote, the transgender community is opposed to the idea of setting up a medical board that should determine their gender, fearing that they might be subjected to embarrassment and harassment. Armin, your it, reaction. It, okay, first of all, I'm actually surprised Pakistan has a trans right bill at all. Are you, were you surprised or is that just me? Um, not entirely. You, yeah, look, AJ, AJ, uh, AJ is saying the same thing. Wait, Pakistan actually tried to protect someone's rights? <laughs> That's exactly my reaction. God damn. <laughs> no, but it's not, she's not surprised over protecting trans people's rights. It's protecting look. someone's rights. Yes, someone's right. Look, God, Darko is surprised like me too. Look, but Darko, like they are working on trans rights bill. That's that is surprising. Yeah, people are surprised as I am. Like, okay, so that. Well, yeah. So Pakistan actually has a university where trans people can go to school for free. Interestingly <laughs> <know>. enough, <laughs> so they actually have oh, a okay, bunch so of that's like great. Or not maybe a bunch, but they have some like wellness programs or resources um, available to the community, which, yeah, it did surprise me. According to um, some polls or uh, senses, whatever, um, that are available, the transgender community in Pakistan is only a little over 10,000 people. But I kind of find that hard to believe in a country of 220 million I would, yeah. com I would completely bet that the actual community is much larger than that. It's just a function of if you're in an environment that's safe enough for you to express yourself, um, which is a huge context in which people come out and actually express themselves. And th that's a whole other conversation where my gender studies degree is coming in. But... <laughs> um, so with this, what I thought was interesting was the role of the Council of Islamic Ideology. And people can correct me if I'm wrong, because I was trying to understand what is the role of this body in Pakistan. Because to me, that's almost like what's most interesting about this is the, the Council of Islamic Ideology is basically a constitutional body in Pakistan, which has to give recommendations on the laws that are on the books, the laws that are proposed and so forth, and basically declare to what extent they are aligned with Sharia before putting them forward to be adopted and so forth, or even um, criticizing things that are already adopted and so forth. What's not clear to me is if this Council of Islamic Ideology, I'm not sure if they actually have the power to revoke anything. I'm not sure if they're simply a um, have a, a recommending capacity or if they actually do have some power to veto things or do their own enforcements. Um, but just the idea of having a council of Islamic ideology that has to review all your laws to be in compliance with Sharia is absolutely bonkers to me in, ugh, yeah, a, like democratic nation, quote unquote. Okay, look uh, at this tweet. This is Tanzim uh, Islami. So this is an Islamic 
Twitter account in Pakistan saying, the so-called Transgender Act 2018 is in fact a shameful attempt to further the malevolent agenda of malevolent agenda of homosexuality. It is part of the evil social engineering program of the West. All un-Islamic clauses from the act must be removed. I don't think like this person understands hom what does homosexuality got to do with transgender? How could you, how is that related? I don't Are think you confused? they, no, I think they see it as one in the same thing as a source of Western degeneracy. Okay. They're both sources people... of Western degeneracy and moral corruption in their eyes. I don't think that, like the the details about what distinguishes them probably isn't of any importance. Are these people protesting against the bill? Um, wait, let me, see. Yes. let me pull this up. Yeah, these are people protesting against the transgender right bill. Yeah, we reject transgender act. Oh, wait, this is so interesting. Oh, wow. These are trans women who are protesting against this. Why? I'm confused. Because it, look, it, it says the, 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 it says we reject transgender act, she male association of fundamental rights. And then the, the translation, which isn't very good, says hundreds of eunuchs came to a field in Islamabad against the Transgender Act, demand for annulment of the act. Transgenders, guys, I'm just using the word that's in the translation, okay? Are well aware that a certain section wants to achieve in the guise of their rights. What does that mean? I don't I know what that means. Like, that they're being used to achieve some other political end in some capacity? I'm so but what? confused. So Pakistan has a transgender. This is this is what mind blowing for me today. Okay, so Pakistan for, has a bill to protect trans people. Okay, that's already mind blowing enough, and trans people are protesting against it. I'm hmm. so confused right now. I don't know. Okay, just maybe they don't sense. like certain aspects of the bill. So one of the major things that's the contention is that the bill is saying that you don't need to have approval by a doctor to change your gender marker, which mm. in an isolate in a vacuum, like I would disagree with, <laughs> people are confused. which is people controversial. Are so people are so confused in the life chat like me. It's good. To, it's yeah. good that we're confused together. People are like, what is happening? And you're like, what the actual F? But okay, I am confused. People are and says, oh my God, this is confusing. Typical of Pakistan. <laughs> okay, but here's, here's something that is less confusing. Let's go back to what we recognize, okay? A Muslim guy burning burning the bill, okay? That's what we're... Burn the LGBT Why have... Act. Why does it oh have God. music? Oh my God, I have to turn it off. I don't know if the music is copyrighted, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay, burning the LGBT Act. I'm sure that, that I love it. that they put flames on the hashtag. Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, why is it why does it have music? Okay. Great. You gotta really give that feeling, okay? Yeah. Okay. At least at least that makes sense to us. Um I think the, yeah. I don't know. That's really interesting. I wonder why they're protesting it. I wonder if it has to do with the things in the bill about the medical board. I don't know. But the fact, okay, what I find interesting about why the Islamic side doesn't like this is because of the inheritance systems. Like out of all the reasons that you don't like this, that's not what I was expecting. Because <laughs> this is mostly surrounding contentions around trans women, right? But if you were transitioning to be a woman and changed your gender marker to female or woman, whatever, and then you would have less inheritance available to you under Islamic jurisprudence. So who would be motivated to do that? Or maybe they're concerned about trans men, like females transitioning to male simply so that they can get a well, bigger inheritance. That's, that's amazing if that's the reason. Is this what's going um, on? I don't know. But here, look, 
Um, I agree you need to satisfy some medical body to be confirmed as trans though. Okay, no. Wait, I think people were, were that's not what I wanted to know. People don't want ins inspections. Is that the reason that trans people are against it? Maybe that the bill requires inspections, bodily inspections. No, no, no. The, re the bill is removing the need to get met, removing the need to get confirmation from a medical board. Oh, so this might be that. some TERFs. This might be some trans TERFs that we're like, I'm oh, just, it might. No, this might be some <laughs> trans. <laughs> medicalists like some trans people that are like threatened i'm just guessing here spitball i have no idea this is true okay maybe there are some trans people that transition that they're thinking that this makes their transness put in question because now you're making anybody could say that they're trans and now like because they had to go they want people to there are some trans medicalists i think that no you can't be a trans unless you go through these steps so maybe they're against the bills because they think they make it too easy for people to be called trans. But they have gone through so much to be trans. Maybe that's what it is. Well, first of all, that's not a really accurate description of a quote unquote trans medicalist stance. Um, I don't, I kind of, I don't know if that would really be the context of what's inspiring them here because that whole debate is like, kind of the culture war that's extremely western focused right now i mean i could be wrong mm. but that whole debate and argument is like really western yeah yeah I'm, i can't believe pakistan is having these discussions when half the country is under the flood um i mean it's good it's a sign of progress though that you get to have these conversations there i consider this a more like it's wild you know yeah okay get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description